Welcome back everyone, my name is Tom and we're here at How to Play the Blues 12 Bar Blues 4.0 So what we're going to go into this video is we learn how to play a major blues um, we learned how to play different uh, types of 12 bar blues um, in the key of G and of course we can uh, translate it in any key we like to um, but what we didn't do was a minor blues and minor blues is uh, like uh, is exactly the same, you can do exactly the same, only make a minor. So if we get that 12 bar blues, just the standard one, and we're gonna play a minor blues, it's just G minor. Four bars long. And we go to the C minor. Back to that G minor. To the D minor. To the C minor. That's all there is to it. You just instead of doing a major, you're doing a minor. Now, um, of course, there's uh, different types of minor blues and uh, the different types of 12 bar blues that we learned. You can all make the minor, but it's really what's really cool in the minor blues, which I use a lot. If you're playing the the one and the minor. So the G minor, and then the four could be a major, and back to that minor, and the five could be a major, and the four could be a major, and back to that minor. You can also choose that the four is a minor, but the five is a major, and so we can do a dominant seven as the five, back to the minor, so the four would be a minor again, and then the one would be a minor. So you're actually, uh, you can actually play along, uh, play around that and just do whichever you like. And uh, this this isn't uh, um, this isn't restricted to a minor blues, but this is something you can do as well, which um, I think a lot of um, minor blues do. Instead of going from the five to the four, they go one step, uh, half a note. So it's sort of like a six. It's not the actual six of the scale, but and then. Back to that minor. In case of a minor, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is the six of a minor scale. It wouldn't be the six of a major scale. If that's too too confusing, uh, just uh, forget about all of that I just said. But um, it's really cool to go. So in the case of a G, it would be a, a D sharp seven, dominant seven, to a to a D seven, also dominant. The seven is always dominant, and then back to the. One chord. So as for a turnaround, you will get so you got yourself a minor blues progression. It's almost the same as a major one, at least in, in, in the 1 4 5 tradition. Uh, it would be exactly the same. And you can play around with that. You can play around with that a lot. And um, in case of uh, Doing stuff like um, uh, this, the second tone you're playing will make it a major. If you put that one step back or one fret back, it will make a minor. So you can go. in the minor blues and you can edit that in any way you like just make sure that you make it a minor tune uh, not make it a major tune because if someone's playing this you can actually work some chords from there like a G minor so, so you can combine that um, that's all I got to tell you about a minor blues. If you have any questions about that, just let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.